Hello, beloved, and welcome to your reading. Let's have a look to see the messages and the energies that you're currently working with at the moment. As usual, I always tell you that it is important to allow your intuition to be available as I'm doing your readings because your intuition will start elaborating on the messages that you're receiving so that this reading becomes powerful and personal. We're going to be looking at our tarot cards, oracle cards as well, to deliver the message that is here for you. I want to remind you, for those of you who are waiting for the tarot course to get started, the tarot course is now available on my website. So go again to the description box below and look what is there. Okay, there's lots of offerings that are there. So let's get your cards. All right. So we have our Oracle cards, we have our Tarot cards, and for you, I can see that you have the Major Arcana card of the Moon card, which is at the bottom of the deck. So this is what you're currently not seeing at the moment. So the Divine is wanting to bring this to your forefront, to your attention, because this could be in your subconscious mind be getting in the way. Okay, so let's first of all focus on what you're currently not seeing at the moment. So having the energies of, of the moon card is all about your fear. It's about the subconscious mind. So the divine is saying that there are some fears. There is just something in your subconscious mind that is getting in the way. There is just something in your subconscious mind that is making a situation or something appear bigger than what it is. The divine is saying that it is important for you to understand that this fear is getting in the way. Because for you, you have really good energies that are here for you. You've got wonderful energies of the sun card, one of my favorite cards. And also a major arcana card and the hanged man as well. The hanged man is important because the hanged man is saying to you that, listen, at this moment in time, there is something that is going on in your subconscious mind that could be sabotaging these good energies that are here, that could be sabotaging some of the decisions and the choices that you're making because you've received the energies of the Seven of Cups. Now, understand this on a deep level because the hanged man is saying to you that for some of you, you're currently at a crossroad, you're currently in limbo. For some of you, you're currently needing to make some important decisions. Life's about to change. There is just something that is here. And you are here considering all the different options. You are here communicating with the divine because the hanged man is connected to the divine powers, to the divine mind. So the divine is saying that for some of you, it is important to make that connection. Because when you do, you are going to be illuminated you are going to be receiving divine messages that are going to be helping you as you're progressing in this situation that we have on the table at the moment. So the divine is saying that there is going to be epiphanies. There is going to be aha moments. There is going to be that final seeing of a solution that currently you are not seeing. So the hanged man asks you to slow everything down, to just be in the moment, before you make any decisions. And as you are in the moment, you're also seeing how your subconscious mind is getting in the way, how your subconscious mind is maybe tricking you through fear to not make the decisions that you need to make. But as you tap in to the higher wisdom, to the higher knowledge, you're able to understand, you're able to see what you need to do next. Because we have the number three energies that are here, Connect, connected to creativity and we have the number nine energy that is here connected to some endings so you are going to be finding creative ways to journey through this situation that is here and you're going to be seeing that there are new beginnings that are there because once you've dealt with these energies of the fear of the moon card you're able to proceed you're able to go on the next chapter on the next beginning that is there. So it is interesting that after the hanged man, you receive the sun card. I told you I love the sun card. So the sun card is saying that brighter days are coming. Okay, the sun card is saying that as you are making this journey, you're getting to this stage where you are in bliss, 
where you're full of gratitude because the new beginning that was here is bringing in a lot of fast changes. But these changes are bringing healing. They're bringing that blissful moment. They're bringing your wishes coming true. There's a feel good energy connected to the sun card. Like when it's summertime, people are just happier. People are kinder. People just feel good. You feel good when it is summertime. Okay. So the divine is saying that you are almost like going to that inner child, healing the inner child, doing the shadow work, bringing everything that is hidden from the moon card because there is something that is connected to your childhood, childhood trauma. There is something that is connected to the past that is bringing this energy of fear. But the sun card is trumping the moon card because this was at the bottom of the deck. You're not seeing these energies that are here, but you are going to be dealing with the energies that are here. I told you that this is the number nine. When we add these two numbers together, we get to the energies of the number nine. But look what happens next. When we look at the sun card, you are having the number 10. You are having a new beginning that is here. So the divine is saying that there's a situation that is in progress at the moment. And the progress that you are going to be making is going to be connected to you. Understanding that there are going to be some opportunities coming in. You are going to be having to make some important decisions. Your lucky breaks are coming in. But as these lucky breaks are coming in, it is important for you to take time to think, to consider. So for some of you, you are already <clears throat> working with the energies of the seven of cups. And you're thinking, should I do this? Should I do that? Should I go abroad? Should I go to study? Should I buy a new home? Is that person really the one for me? Is he a snake? Is that person meant to make me grow? Or is this person like my soulmate who is meant to come and teach me some important lessons? Okay, so as you're making these decisions here, the divine is saying that your success, your victory in picking the right choice is going to be connected to you. Stepping, first of all, into the energies of the hanged man. Thinking, feeling, Connecting to the higher mind, connecting to the divine, saying your prayers, okay, is going to be important because saying your prayers is going to allow you to have the divine guidance that we need. Because remember, I told you the hanged man is connected to the divine mind. So the divine is going to be giving you important information. And you can see that our oracle card is bringing the same energies to the table. So here is the hanged man. You're saying your prayers. You're connecting to your guides. You're connecting to the divine. And as you do so, you're receiving information that allows you to make the right choices that are going to see you in the energies of the sun card, the energies of celebration. So look at our card. What is it telling you? I told you that there are some fears that are here that are getting in the way. And your guides are saying that once you've connected to the divine mind, to allow divine guidance to flow into your life, you are going to be able to see that you are divinely guided. So there is no need to allow the energies of the moon card to come in and to stop you in your tracks and to stop you making the choices that are going to see you grow. So the divine is saying, have no fear. And if you're understanding this message, it, if it is resonating with you, comment 77 in the comment section below. Okay, so let's have a look to see what else is happening. Because like I told you, you have some really good energies. Fear, subconscious mind is getting in the way. So the divine is saying that, listen, for some of you, you've been experiencing synchronicities. For some of you, you've been experiencing coincidences. These coincidences are meant to help you, okay? These coincidences are meant to assist you in making the right decision for you. So understand that if you're seeing coincidences, the divine is saying that there is no such thing. These coincidences are meant to come in and to give you the important information that you need if you understand, comment 1111 in the comment section below because there is a powerful energy that is here connected to luck. There is a powerful energy that is here connected to you being divinely guided. The number seven is playing an important role in this reading. So as we're seeing, you're here making some important choices and the divine is saying that your guides are going to be sending you important information and understand that you don't need to be afraid because you are going to be making, of course, the right decisions that are going to be leading to this energy of the sun card. 
that are going to be leading to this energy where you are going to be rewarded and recognized. So it is important for you to understand again that the number 1111 is playing again an important role. So it is no coincidence that you have seen the 777 that is here. It is no coincidence that you've seen the auspicious sign that is here. So the divine is saying that make your wishes known to the divine and understand that this reading is an auspicious sign because it's giving you a lot of information. It's giving you a lot of wisdom. It is giving you the energies that you've been seeking connected to the hanged man. Okay, so let's have a look at our next card that is here. So the divine is saying that, listen, yes, you've experienced some challenges in your childhood. You've experienced some childhood in your past which is causing you to question everything, which is maybe triggering you to stay in that energy of fear. But understand that everything that happens to you, it is meant to teach you important lessons. So for you, don't allow fear. Don't allow the triggers of the past to keep you in this energy where you are not making any choices because life is a lesson. Life is meant to see you growing. You live, you learn, you grow, you make mistakes, you learn from those mistakes and you grow after. So the divine is saying that it is important for you to perhaps even listen to this reading one, two, two, three, four times to truly understand why you found this reading, why you watch this reading, because the divine is saying that you have some lucky breaks that are here. What is getting in the way is fear. What is getting in the way is something that could be buried deep within your subconscious mind connected to your inner child, connected to trauma that happened when you were young. But when you resolve the situation that is here, you are going to be opening the keys to the energies of the sun card where healing, where good times are ahead, where you're feeling blissful and thankful for all the resources, abundance that are going to be coming for you. So the divine is saying to you that, listen, healing is going to be important because look at our other oracle card. Our other oracle card is bringing the message that I already told you about healing. So some of you, you're going to find someone who can bring you a lot of wisdom, a lot of knowledge, who can help you on this healing journey. This could be someone spiritual or this could be you going to a therapist. This could be you going to someone who can assist you on this journey that is here because it is important to start attuning to the energies of your future instead of allowing the past to keep on blocking you. So there is that cleansing that you're also being asked to do. So a spiritual cleanse is important. And if you don't know how to do a spiritual cleanse, YouTube is your friend. Type in spiritual cleansing, watch a few videos and see what you're resonating with. Do that spiritual cleanse because that spiritual cleanse is important because it allows you to deal with any fear from this moon card that is here. When you cleanse these fears that are here, you are able to unlock the luck that is coming in for you. Okay, so personal readings, if you need one, I um in the description box below. You can find this on my website. If you're wanting to learn your tarot, you can go and see all the different courses that I do. Again, my website is linked in the description box below. So this is it. If you found value in this reading, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It's a goodbye.